This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nitek. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov is looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend has Bula Magomedov in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. Go. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle. Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmago Meadow. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and it's showing because he's landing so consistent. Ground strikes continue to pile up. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, 
compromising spot here. Trying to choke his left in. Attack it on now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outcome of the show in that defense. Again, a solid punch out. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, uh, big elbow. Nice short elbow there. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Misses with the right hand. Takedown there by Nermako Medov. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he's getting submitted. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. Setting up another submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Nice positional control here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. And now he's got the back. Mm, nice. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Oh, that Von Flute choke is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Joking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're gonna get submitted. He didn't panic. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nirvago Medov. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. round two. All right, nice job there by the corner after that previous round as our next round gets underway, and their fighter is undeterred. He was close on the submission in the previous round. He's going to get right back to it. He's like a dog on a bone. He's going to continue to attack, 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 until he eventually gets what he wants. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Straight punch lands. Watch out for the 
set up here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell at the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I bet, I'm trying to take you over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with the striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. While some fighters rest in the clinch, he is not doing that. He lands a nice punch there. He is a grinder. You get close to the cage, he starts to go to work and land over and over again. Just missed with the left there. Back in the clinch, look from the hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Why well, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Well, you got to think the frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling, as yet he's been on the other side. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling where they get close to you, they hook their feet, they drag you to the mat knowing that once you're on the ground, now you're really in trouble because the takedown is only a part of the danger. The true danger is grappling with such a huge elbow there. Medov's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Got it very tight. Oh, he got out. And he is back up to his feet. Well, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Another big kick. Changing the position. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother. Oh, come on, come on now. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Big elbow there, Lance. Great shot from the top position. Yep. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nermanko Medovs has got full mount now. Good solid strike on the ground. Two oh, rounds oh. in the books. Hey, Part of the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. I love your ground control. This round will give you. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas 
and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Now three of a possible five. Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Medov. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Nemago Medov is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, great submission defense. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Trying to recover full guard there. Back mount now. Nermako Medov's in half guard now. All right, side control now. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Ooh, he escapes! Wait, there goes another one, and once again, he just backs it away. Great submission defense. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Nemago Medov. Time starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Just over two minutes to go. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Hook lands. Oh, my goodness! And they separate after exiting the clinch. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. If you're in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the door. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not going to be sure from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Well, we thought there might be another takedown attempt. Boom, there it is. Oh, good block there. This could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Drops 
down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. 15 seconds. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission to tip. Oh, high level stuff here with the ground and pound by Nermago Meta. All right, that's three rounds oh. in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to be Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Big left hand there inside. Oh, beautiful. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's hurt again! There's that left hand! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Nice job by him defensively there. Gets back to his feet! an exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, no feeling that process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Ooh, right into side control, DC. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Nermanko Medov's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. Now the elbow is the weapon of choice. Look at that. Recognize his position. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Nermanko Medov. Setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. You gotta be kidding me. He gets out of danger again. Once again, he gets his arm out. Great submission defense. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground. Continuing to target that cut. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Ground and pound the hammer mark curve would be proud. Oh, slick reversal right there. Let's go! Khabib's back in full back. Try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. 
Bill Medoff's cut, not getting blood in his eyes per se, but that is a huge gash on the cheek. Kind of looks like a slot machine right now. And if we get in between rounds, the ringside position and the cut man are going to have their work cut out for them. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Lands a jab. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build him back. Oh! Beautiful combination, he knocks him down. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big Daddy. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.